Hello lovelies, it's Leslie. It's the not quite enough distance vlog. How are we? Much of this week's vlog will be talking about drumming at the weekend. We were at um, Ramsgate Carnival. So I've got a bit of footage of the journey. Um, not a lot of footage of our drumming, but I will put some links in the notes below to some YouTube videos of our drumming if anyone's interested. But it was good fun. It was a long day. Um, well, all things are relative. Um, we were picked up about midday-ish and um, got home about nine o'clock. The actual parade itself was a couple of hours, I guess, because we had a couple of hours travelling each way, time to get stuff to eat and drink and that. It's a very hilly route. Um, there was one bit where we were at the bottom of a hill and it was quite a steep kind of windy incline and some of the lorries and trucks were obviously having a bit of trouble going up there at a, a sedate pace that you would normally be for that kind of procession so the marshals were saying oh just stop where you are sort of thing which is what we did and then the one in front of us went shooting up the hill <laughs> I mean, we're not doing that because we're on foot so we're not doing that <laughs> but it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun so um so yes there were how many of us were there about 25 30 of us i think there were a few different floats in the carnival now most of the floats seem to be made up of what's called the courts so these are miss canterbury miss dover miss ramsgate miss wherever and the princesses and it's all on how pretty you are forgive me if i'm not jumping up and down with enthusiasm women being treated like that it's worse i was talking with one of our fellow drummers and she was saying that where she grew up you didn't have any of that so she was really shocked to see it when she was but she's like what is this I said, well, what makes it worse is these young women and girls are sitting on sort of trailers being pulled by small trucks. And they're in these white sort of trailers. And around the sides, because with these processions, they're often fundraising. Carnivals are often for, for raising funds for local charities. And sometimes people will throw money. And I think there have been too many cases of the Carnival Queen getting smacked in the mouth with a 10p piece. So um, they have sort of netting around them. So it looks like women in cages. That's something that some of us struggle with a bit. <laughs> but if they're happy, then we're happy. <laughs> but yeah, it was good fun. Um, long journey much drinking by some bit of singing on the way back well we call it singing that's the enthusiastic way of describing it it's the optimistic the kind way of describing it as you'll see so that was sunday it's now Tuesday. I'm not sure I've recovered since. Um, it was really hot. Um, it was surprisingly warm whilst we were out marching, considering it's September. But it was very warm. Um, so some of us were feeling feeling the warmth, feeling our ages. And by the time we got home, feeling very weary, um, I said to himself, I don't know if I want to have a, a bath or something to eat first because I desperately needed both, you know. So that was Sunday. Yesterday I had two ceremonies. So that was then. Um, you know, you've got to be mentally awake and I'm standing a lot. So still quite weary. Then drum practice last night on the beach. Not many of us there. That often happens the day after a, a big parade. Um, that often happens that there aren't many people turning up for practice. So this morning, thankfully, not massively busy, sat at my desk looking at a few things, fell asleep for an hour and a half, woke up the very stiff neck. <laughs> so, but hopefully I'm now recovered from the weekend's exploits. 
It was only a three mile walk with drumming. It really shouldn't be that exhausting. But as one of our leaders said, we're not procession fit. We haven't done much of this this year. So um, so that's why we are we were very weary on the way home. But it was good fun and we enjoyed it. And lots of people out supporting the carnival, which is lovely to see because sometimes we go and do these things and find there's three people and a dog watching and the dog's barking because we're banging drums and it's people aren't there having fun. The good weather really helped, I think, because it was such a lovely sunny day. It was a nice day out for people. They were outside, so any fears they had about COVID would hopefully be reduced because it was an outside event. And yeah, it was it was um, it was very well supported. Where the thing started and finished, there was a kind of fairground going on, lots of different stalls and a few sort of small rides and that sort of thing. So it looked like it was a very popular thing. So hopefully, it brought a lot of people to the town and brought a lot of money to the town because uh, you know it's raising money for local charities, but it's also hoping that local cafes, pubs, shops benefit from having that sort of event go on. So, so yeah, that was the weekend. So yesterday, drumming on the beach, that can't go on for much longer because it was getting dark quite early. We were lighting up our drums. Um, and I thought, well, one of my sets of batteries isn't working because I have two sets of batteries on my drum, one on the inside, one on the outside. The one on the inside was working fine, but the one on the outside, I thought, oh, must be something wrong here. So when I got home, I undid the little uh, pouch where the battery packs are and lifted the battery pack away and it came completely away. There were no wires connecting it to the the outer. So, yes, I mean, these are only sort of not very sturdy pieces. So it's not surprising they're not terribly long lasting, but uh, it's a shame. But we will live. So. And today, um, apart from sleeping, mostly working, writing up, that sort of thing. Had a, a nice long chat with my dad. And when there's something that's gone wrong in his life, sort of problems with the local authority or complaints anywhere, I am his letter writer. And today we had two. So that was uh, that was a constructive phone call. <laughs> Got sent two emails complaining about things. So we'll see what responses he gets. So... <laughs> We all have our roles within our family, don't we? So I am the, the letter writer. Um, yeah, so that's it for Tuesday. Um, not the busiest of work weeks ahead, depending on the phone ring, ringing. This is always the case, of course. And yeah, now I've got writing up and stuff, but not massively busy until Friday. So hopefully it'll be a nice sort of steady week. Be able to get some crafting done. Just starting some, uh, my sister wants some fingerless mitts. Oh, the light isn't really working on this. So I've got a cable pattern in here. That's not showing. I'll show you them when they're done anyway. But um, apart from that, just plodding on, usual thing. So I hope you've enjoyed the pictures of the drumming and the footage. And thanks for coming along with me. See you later in the week. Hello, lovelies. How are we all? Hope everyone's doing okay. Um, I showed you earlier a glove I was making. I've finished it. I'll put a photo in so that you can see it more clearly. Um, I've These are for my sister and I've found out that I'm going to be seeing my sister at the weekend. Yay! So I'm going to try and get the other one done um, so that I can give them to her on Saturday. It's a modification of my own pattern and I will give you all the details um, in the month end podcast. Apart from that, it's a nice sunny day here, um, nothing terribly exciting happening. So after all the excitement of last weekend and drumming and coaches and drunken singing, probably best if I leave it here. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing okay. Thank you for all the messages and comments and, and for joining in any conversations. I really do appreciate it. It's lovely to have you here. Hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're keeping well. Hope you're keeping safe. Um, Numbers are still very up and down in various places, so I hope that you can keep safe and well and content and happy and that you're able to do at least some of the things you enjoy. And I will see you next week. So thanks ever so much. Have a good week. Take care. 
Bye-bye.